hello there welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually a speed reviews monthly favorites and fails however you want to call it basically i am going to review a bunch of stuff that i used uh, throughout the last month and a bit a month and a half maybe two months something like that because i actually didn't have a speed reviews video last month so if you're interested in seeing uh, my opinions on all of these uh, products, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm actually going to start off with the fails. I have two fails and um, they're both very expensive. So the first fail is actually this uh, Lancome de Finicil uh, mascara. It is just a very basic mascara this is the wand so as you can see like it is the one that our mothers and their mothers used to use i'm not sure why this is still freaking alive i i doubt anyone buys it this is so oh the effect that it gives is a very very natural like all it really does is kind of darken your eyelashes so it's definitely not the effect that i go for i like my lashes to be uh very deep very voluminous and a little bit longer than they are naturally although i have pretty long lashes as they are they're just very light uh so yeah this is definitely not something for me maybe if you just really like a very natural sort of look like you know you have amazing lashes they're super long and they're super thick but you need to give them a little bit of a color then this might be something for you but i guess for the rest of us uh, this is just not great and another fail that i have which i'm super bummed about because i was actually thinking of you know i was looking at this product in my own free time because i found it so very kind of intriguing and this is the charlotte tilbury uh, eyes to mesmerize this is in the shade star gold i received this in my package from claire from america and i was so excited when i saw it this is the color i'm going to give you a swatch i have used it a good few times on my eyes already so this is what the color looks like a blended out when you put it on your eyes and you start to sort of uh, blend it in, I feel like the shade picks up on itself. Now, I always use my finger for these types of uh, products because it's just easier. Even with my nails, I just find that it's easier and it gives better um, pigment payoff. But with this, I find that whenever I would go over the same spot a couple of times, then it, the product would pick up on itself. So unfortunately, this is not something for me although it's a very good product because it doesn't crease on my eyes i've used it all over the lid and it didn't crease and i have fairly oily eyelids so you know the longevity of it is fine it's just the formula is not something that i am looking for maybe if you're looking for literally just kind of swipe and then maybe blend it up maybe that way it would work but yeah it's not for me and i'm super super bummed about it because i was actually looking to purchase something similar like this i'm glad i tried it i will be passing this on to another friend of mine at so you know it's not gonna go to waste but i am so sad that this didn't work for me let's move on to the meh products so uh, the first product is this naobe orange juice uh, hand cream this is just okay and I don't find it to be super hydrating or it's supposed to be a regenerative hand cream. I don't necessarily notice that my cuticles are still dry. It doesn't seem like it's regenerating them in my opinion. It doesn't, it smells like a very herbal orange. Like it doesn't necessarily smell like orange juice in my opinion. So yeah. This is not my favorite hand cream. I will use it up because it is a hand cream. I usually have it at my desk here where I work. Uh, so, you know, I use it from time to time, but it's not one that I consider a holy grail on it, or it's not one that I would need to have in my collection. Then I have the Ciate London uh, blush in the shade Matchmaker. I received this in a Look Fantastic uh, box. This is what it looks like. It kind of, uh, the side of it kind of broke off when I tapped out my brush. Uh, I don't know what to think about it. I'm gonna swatch it out here for you. It's a very pigmented uh, blush and it's 
very sparkly so this is what that looks like here and um i just feel like i have to be very careful i like my blushes to be to have some color but i love them to be kind of smooth and blend out really quickly this was too much for me so it is an okay product it works well it does what it's supposed to do but it's not something that i necessarily am thrilled about having so this is another product that is being passed on i'm actually gonna uh, keep it and i'm going to pass it on to claire um whenever i send her another package with uh stuff from ireland so i'm hoping she will like it more than i do because it is a more glowy sort of product it's a fine blush it's just not necessarily my favorite and the last meh product is this victoria's secret uh, satin gloss i received this from another friend of mine alina and uh yeah this is just okay not too bad not too great a very very shimmery sort of uh product it's a fine gloss that's all i have to say it's it's not you know knocking me out of my socks or whatever that saying is it's 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 just okay i will use it up because i have it a but it's not one that I would go out of my way to uh, find another or, you know, repurchase. Okay, and now it's time to talk about my favorites, the products that worked out really great for me, uh, the products that I love, basically. So I'm going to start off with hair care because I only have two products and they kind of go together. So this, these are the Clorane shampoo and Clorane conditioner. Now, the shampoo is from the nutrition site. Sh uh, nutrition or nourishing line and it is with mango but bitter it is with mango uh, butter and it is made for dry hair now this product i i love it i love the way that it cleans my hair but it is one that you kind of have to get used to it because it's not your typical sort of texture um you know how shampoos that are full of silicones and parabens and all those sls's or whatever they're called they make your hair feel very smooth very kind of already conditioned right whereas with this i find that that's not the case i feel like my hair is um clean but it's not loaded with silicones meaning that they do kind of feel coarse when i touch them but I'm fine with that I don't necessarily I want to clarify my hair I want to clean them I don't want my shampoo to pile on loads of other additives that are not necessary loads of other additives that I'm gonna add anyway with a conditioner or a hair mask so I really like what this does to my hair it smells gorgeous it smells like mango and mango is my favorite freaking fruit I named my dog after it so yeah I love it. I will definitely uh, repurchase it when I run out of uh, this guy. I bought the smaller side, the 200 mils, and I've used it for maybe two or three months already. And I've only used that much because you don't necessarily need a lot. It lathers up. I'm, I just love it. I love the way that it makes uh, my hair clean. You know, it, it doesn't necessarily make them feel very nice, but it cleans them, and that's all i need my shampoo to do and then the conditioner is actually a pomegranate one uh this is for uh color treated hair uh it's like a radiant sort of conditioner and i wanted the mango one to, you know so that they're together but the mango one was actually out of stock so i decided to go with the next best thing which is pomegranate uh, actually you know that that wasn't the only reason i actually went with the color treated one because obviously my hair is color treated i bleach my hair so you know that that's that and uh, this is beautiful again smells so gorgeous the smell is so so good guys oh, you you have even like these are not very expensive products they cost about 10 euro for you know the shampoo and tenner for a conditioner so they're not that expensive but the smell if you how do i put that if the smell is the only thing that you are looking for in a conditioner or a shampoo. This is definitely the way to go. 
plus it has the additional uh, benefits where it's natural and it doesn't contain contain silicones and so on and so forth so you know you get the best of both worlds um i do enjoy it i usually mix it in with my pink um kind of rinse uh, so that i get this pink hue in my hair works perfectly makes my uh, makes my hair feel uh soft after i wash them and it's not uh the it's not the kind of effect that de dissipates after um a day it actually stays in my hair until i have to wash it the next time so i enjoy them i will be forever probably or purchasing chlorine products because they're really good i might you know kind of digress to other um companies but i definitely will be coming back to these ones because they are really good then moving on uh last couple of month and a half maybe i tried the uh, lancome hydra zen anti-stress glow i received this moisturizer in like a hamper from a couple that uh, like a couple from a friend couple let's say saying like that i think that that would be good and it had load of um lancome products in it and also a mark jacobs fragrance which i'm so stoked about because i love mark jacobs fragrances but anyway i digress uh this moisturizer is really really good it has a lovely smell now it's not one that you kind of feel on your skin after you apply it it kind of disappears after a couple of seconds and the texture is so um different because it's very liquidy it's milky it's liquidy it's hydrating it's really really good and again the smell smells so beautiful if you know lancome you know uh, their products kind of smell like that all the time and yeah i really enjoy it and it gives a beautiful kind of glow from within i use it all the time underneath my makeup and uh, i've been loving this moisturizer in my routine highly highly recommended and uh, then before i go into makeup i just have this one thing this is the silk air bioline cuticle oil i have my one in the coconut scent i enjoy it it's really really good it's a nice thick oil that works well on your cuticles on your hands and also on any dry skin that you might have elsewhere so i use it on my hands or on my cuticles on my nails and i also use it on my feet and that seems to work really well enjoy it will definitely um repurchase the cuticle oil from this brand maybe not the coconut scent because you know i like coconut but i'm not necessarily an 100 percent kind of die hard fan of coconut scents but this one is fine and then onto the makeup i have three makeup products that i tried over the last month and a half that i love so let's start off with this this was such a surprise for me this is the uh, nima 575 the color pen eyeliner this is so good now i didn't expect to love a freaking felt tip liner as much as i love this one it is so easy to like draw lines look at this and it's so easy i literally just draw one swipe do my wing my apologies i just ran out of uh, memory anyway amazing liner like i said i always used to think that the brush tip liners are my favorite but i guess i just never tried a felt tip liner that actually worked for me and this one does this is a beautiful sort of brown color that is so like you can still see it but it's not as harsh as a black liner i do really enjoy it and if i say so myself if i run out of this one and i'm looking for a liner i might actually look into this brand the uh, nima brand because i am so impressed with this guy really really good and uh, my favorite thing this month is this this is the natasha denona mini star palette i did it eventually i bought a natasha denona palette now i really didn't want to spend um that 67 euro 
first before I actually go and try out you know her formula so I decided the mini uh, a mini palette is the best way to go and with from all of her palettes this one seems like the most interesting one to begin with because it has this beautiful kind of duochrome to you know your basic mattes this beautiful rose gold and this um lovely sort of um olivey uh tone and this is so versatile i took it on holidays with me and i really enjoyed using it there i did create three looks one palette which i will post soon i still have to edit that but it will be on my uh, channel eventually and yeah i love it and i am definitely looking to purchase more minis and midis as well so you know that formula did not disappoint compared to the charlotte tilbury uh eyeshadows that i used in my previous video which you probably would have seen already so disappointing these are the opposite these are absolutely freaking amazing and the last product that i really enjoyed using over the last month and a half is this this is the lacura radiant concealer this is supposed to be a dupe for the nars radiant creamy concealer i haven't tried that I don't know if it's a dupe, but as a standalone product, this is really, really nice. I have the color creme, which is, uh, actually works pretty well. It has your regular kind of smaller doe foot applicator. The one thing that I would change about this concealer is, yeah, change the doe foot because I do like my concealers to have a more of that larger um, doe foot because it's just makes life so much easier and it's so much quicker to apply and blend out and so on and so forth so this is that shade it is a very kind of oh it's not thick right but it is a thicker sort of formula that blends out really really well gives me medium coverage and yeah it's just the perfect everyday concealer that you know you would probably use when you're doing Maybe not a full glam, but like the makeup that I have on today, it seems like, you know, it would work perfectly because it doesn't fully cover everything, but it covers enough that it actually looks beautiful and natural. But that is it for today's uh, video. These are all of the products that I tried and, you know, some of them are favorites, some of them were fails, you know, these things happen, I guess. But if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.